Deputy Mayor Zandile Kumete in court uh, today, that's the Deb and Commercial Crimes Court. Of course, she's facing corruption charges related to the awarding of a doji multi-million rent Deb and Solid Waste tender. Kumete's co-accused include business people, municipal officials, and some councillors. My colleague, Ian Say, reporter, Spamanta Koke, is tracking that story for us. Spamanta, a very good morning to you. Well, the court is today. Zandile Kumete was supposed to be in court uh, this morning. What's the latest you've got for us? Well, I can tell you that the court has adjourned for now. It's a short adjournment because one of the accused is sick. Now, there are 16 accused on the dock today. Zandile Kumede is accused number 16. Accused number 12, one of the business people, has taken ill inside court. It's very hot inside that courtroom. The air conditioners are not working. So one of the accused has fallen sick, and she's busy being attended to right now. The court had to adjourn for now. Take another matter. Stand down the Zandile Kumede matter. It will resume shortly. But a lot has transpired in Court. Allow me to step out of this shot as my colleague Kanisom Dalose is giving you the visuals of supporters of Zandile Kumete. So in they are not ready, they need to do further investigation. Volumes of documents that were seized during the asset forfeiture unit search and seizure uh, operations in October. So they need to analyze those voluminous documents. They claim that there is new information that has emerged out of those search and seizure operations in October. Zandile Kumede's homes or houses were raided together with some of the core accused, including business entities and business persons. So according to the state, the amount of these controls Provincial tap and solid waste tender has risen from 208 million and then now it's standing or the figure is standing at 389 million. They say in terms of the documents that they found during those search and seizure operations there were invoices that were found which have taken that amount to 389 million rand. So there is a further 180 something million that was found in terms of the paperwork that was found. So that's the new information that has emerged in court now. But the state is definitely not ready to start with the trial they say they need more time to analyze all this new evidence and then once they are done with that then they will come to court and be ready to start with the trial so for now after this short adjournment we will be going back inside court as Zandile Kumede said to address their supporters once she's done and it's likely then from what you've just said because the state needs more time as Pamanda that uh, the trial might be postponed Absolutely indeed. Now they are busy debating about that because when I stepped out of court, some of the defense lawyers were opposing that application by the state to say they need more time. They say that will be injustice. It will further prejudice their clients. But I must tell you that it's not all defense lawyers who have objected to that. Zandile Kumede's lawyer and other lawyers, they have objected to that. They are saying these delays are unfair to their clients. But other lawyers say they understand why the state needs more time because this is a complex case so they are not objecting to that application or to that request by the state for further time so that the investigating team can continue with investigations but I can tell you that trial will not start anytime soon we are likely looking at more than six months of postponement and that will be a blow to Zandile Kumede because the ANC in Etewini region has got a regional conference around April we are told that she is standing, she is standing for a position of the regional chairperson she will go to that conference with a cloud hanging over her yeah, it's going to be interesting Spamanda, shortly what she's going to tell her supporters who are outside court uh, as soon as she addresses them. We know, of course, that her supporters say she's being targeted. Thank you very much, uh, Spamanda Koke, outside uh, court there in that uh, Zandile Kumete case, which more than likely today is set to be postponed as the state says it needs more time to do its investigation.